morning guys or good afternoon i don't know what time or where you are watching this video welcome to the first moto vlog on the panigale v2 troy baileys uh it's been raining non-stop for like a week or more just on like we have like a window of two hours of break and today i said i'm gonna go and get the ride done because i don't want to have another week in the house and not riding especially right now so let's go ride a little bit and talk about maybe the bike and introduce myself to you guys it's not a cold start because i went outside already but i have issue with my gopro number one battery dead I, then i the second gopro i didn't have the media mod i left it in the garage i came back to get that and then go back to the to to, to shoot again all right man see you on the road peace I ride all the way here, talking, 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 talking. The Insta360 was doing his jobs, but the GoPro was not. So I need to go on something that's similar to a victory lap and talk about the things I already said, but at least I'm trained a little bit. Because I said the stuff, I know. I shoot the B-rolls and stuff like that, so let's go on board. Insta360 on. I'm not leaving anything behind. No garbage, no gas, no trash. Oh man. I hope I don't lose my GoPro, which I put there to charge. GoPro number two. All right, guys. Welcome to the first motor vlogs of the season on my Panigale V2 Troy Bailey's. Whoa, slippery. It's wet. This is my usual spot where I come to shoot my videos, even for my other channel, which is the Italian one. Check it out, guys, and feel free to drop a, a, a subscribe if you would like to. And if you want to watch Italian content, of course, I'm more fluent and I'm more on my comfort zone in Italian than English, but I'm trying to do my best. And yeah, man. So, Panigale V2, almost a year. That I have this Troy Bailey's, but for me as a V2 owner, I can say it's almost three years. Because before this, as you may know or may not, from a video of the channel, I had a previous V2, which was a base model. Crappy roads. Welcome to Italy, guys. You don't have sand, you have rocks. Rocks and sorry guys. Need to focus a little bit because it's wet, it's cold. It's the, it's the worst condition to ride a sport bike, but I couldn't say at home because like I said at the beginning of the video at the garage It was raining not so for like a week We used to have like a window of two to three hours of no stop, but I was at work during the week And on weekend Yesterday it was raining and today I said to myself if no matter what I need to go and get the ride done not only for the content because I need it man because it's been a month since I, I, I have my insurance again and ready to, to open the season but man from work between work stuff and between work stuff and uh, the rain I couldn't I could ride only once in a month that's crazy oh man I have my mirrors closed I'm fucked Okay, let's go back to the topic. V2 Troy Baileys. Uh, I traded my first V2 because I had some stalling issues. And uh, due to the Akrapovic exhaust that was uh, sold to me, installed and tuned by the Ducati dealership here in Milano. And they couldn't fix it or they wouldn't, I don't know. I, I, I can't believe that they could, but I, they didn't want to fix it. I can't believe that. So I would say they couldn't. Which is still crazy because as a dealership, you sell a bike that has stalling issues due to the map. I get confirmation from other uh, dyno places. They said, it's the map, we can fix it, but kiss goodbye to your warranty. And they advised me not to do it, to go to my dealership. Because for them, it's like 300 euro to fix the problem in less than an hour. But for me, I have 10 all the years of the ownership of this bike without warranty and for anything i have to pay and as, uh, 
as we know, our Ducati's cost has a higher cost, let's say. So I decided to take off the exhaust uh, and I sold it. It was a Karpovich exhaust just to slip on with DB killers in, even though it was not road homologated and it was uh, for race use only. I had it for two years, enjoyed the sound, love it, and I still miss it. But I sold it because I didn't want to put it on my next V2 and have the same problem because the bike is the same, the software would be the same. And you might say or might think, why you didn't get the V2 Troy Bayliss instead of the base model? Good question, but I have a good answer too. When I bought it, it was in 2021. And at that time, the V2 Troy Bayliss was the, known to the public. So I went ahead and bought the V2 base, base model. And a couple of months later, I bought this one, which is my Hypermotor 821, because I loved it for a while, but I never had the courage to buy one. And I was saying to myself, nah, I think it's too expensive to own two bikes, to insure two bikes, tires and everything. And it is expensive and everything. But man, at least it's worth it because it nourish our soul. It's, it's motivating us, let's say. So then I went and get the V2 Troy Bellis. And it's almost a year. I will do the review very soon. And people might think or might ask me, uh, why you did not get like a, I don't even know where I am. Oh shit, I dug the wrong, no, no, I got right. People might say, uh, after three years, do you feel like you need a V4 or you want a V4 and upgrade? Honestly, no, because I live in Milano and in Italy, we have not good roads we have a lot of traffic and 155 horsepower is way more than enough for these streets way more than enough than for me and my skills so no i don't need a 215 uh slash five horsepower uh, v4 if you ask me do i want one of course i want one who in his right mind would say no i don't want a v4 being a Ducatista not me but the wise thing was for me not to get one to keep this one and also to to start a process of skill learning and skill developing instead of changing the bike because the new one has comes out or stuff like that because every year there will be something new or there will be something that you would like to have more than what you currently own and I don't want to get trapped into that, you know, bullshit uh, and uh, expensive hobby or spending method. And uh, about the skill learning and skill developing, in 2024, I want to do more track days. In 2023, I did two, you can see from the tires, they are a little bit, you know, uh, used from the track, you can tell. And the other thing I want to learn is to start doing wheelies. I have a Grom, but being 6'1 one or 1, one uh, meter 86 centimeters, I'm too tall and I'm too big for the Grom and it's too much hard power, it's too much work to, to clutch up the Grom or to power wheel it. You have to clutch up the Grom because it has no power. So I bought the Grom uh, in 2019. I was without a bike because I had like my 848 eight sold and I needed to at least be on a bike uh, and, uh, and while I'm looking for a motorcycle to buy, let's say shopping, motorcycle shopping. So I went ahead, got the Braun, which I now use as my scooter city bike because for these roads, I don't need a, a powerful bike because they run hot on summer. Right now in winter, it's very nice. The heat I feel between my legs, but in summer, I never, I never had a problem with the heat of the Panigale V2, to be honest. Let's turn around, because I don't know where the hell I'm going. No, not in summer, nor in summer, nor in winter. In winter it's pleasing. Never do this. And yes, man. So I will try to practice the wheelies. 
the wheelie things are like illegal in Italy but I will do my best to not be you know arrested or to be in trouble while bringing you the content and like other things for example these rhizomas stealth are not road homologated they are illegal to use but at least the turn signals these unit lights are uh, homologated so no issues but if I get pulled up over by the police traffic and then they see these mirrors they might give me they could give me hard times same was for my exhaust but I loved it I just said fuck it and uh, in Italy we we are a little bit lucky you know a lot of non homologating things are on bikes and honestly the police are a little bit more forgiving let's say and we do what we do you know as long as you don't act like an asshole when you get stopped pulled over or play with the the cops you should be fine so it is what it is so i decided to keep this bike like this and i love it few in few weeks i will bring you the one year review tell you what i like what i don't like you might know already but me i love this bike when i look at it i have a feeling that i can't describe it motivates me it makes me feel and realize that uh, dreams can be can come true and it's achievable to to make my our dreams come true and it also give me a motivation and it makes it puts in my mind that i can achieve higher stuff like um, uh, other limited edition because this is not limited it's just numbered which is a marketing strategy that's working fine very well for ducati and they are doing it on monster and stuff like that uh, it's inspiring me maybe in the future way 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 in the future super leggera of course use one or a desmo cdici rr could be nice all right guys let me i let you hear the exhaust sound then i tell you the difference between the bases it doesn't sound very bad but of course the exhaust of this is way better i miss it but i will not put it because too much money and too much trouble for, it's more for the risk than the money because you know you can do it so the difference between this one and the base model of course it's the livery that you can see uh, it's a tribute to troy bailey's the 20th the first championship he won 20 years ago oh i said it right the first time that's nice the second thing is the hall in suspension all in front fork uh nix nix 30 and on the back the ttx 36 the shock and what else oh that is this thing i don't know what the name is uh, we call it piastra di sterzo in italian it has a number and the name of the bike which is troy bailey's i still can't say it but i will show it to you or write it to you uh, troy bailey's 20th ch ch anniversary championship whatever it is what it is those are the difference and there is the signature here on the tank it looks nice and that's it basically it's a v2 base with a graphic and stuff like that it looks nice it rides better than a uh, stock ones because these are premium suspension component all right these are my social this is my italian youtube channel if you wanna drop a subscribe or check some videos ask questions or hear me speaking a language i'm good at speaking at least because italian is better than my my italian is better than english and it is what it is guys thank you very much for watching see you on the next video like share and subscribe bye